Now don't be angry with people no matter what they have done. Judgment is in the hand of God. Be of Jesus Christ is going to come back and give his life to Jesus. But many of you Christians, you don't have love anymore. There's no more love. It is the pride that Jesus Christ has that want to collect from him. No more love. We don't have love. Is little. There is a pastor that God wants to expose that everybody knows him. The whole world knows him. You be afraid. But when this secret is exposed, let's say the truth of Christ this time around. Let's do the will of God. Let's do the will of God. Let's do the will of God. God has not called us to inflict ourselves with suffering in the light. God did not call us to tear ourselves in bondage in the light. God did not call us to become enemy of ourselves. Let's repent. You are not complete. You that you are thinking that you are perfect, you are complete. You are not perfect. You are not complete.
God. The second hymn shall be taken from him, chapter 577. Him 577. Hour of prayer, Acts chapter 3, verse 1. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, that calls me from a world of care and beats me at my father's throne. Make all my wants and wishes known in seasons of distress and grief. My soul has often found relief and oft escaped the tempter's snare by thy return, sweet hour of prayer.
last hymn for this session shall be taken from him 721 him 721 speak unto the children of israel that they go forward exodus 14 15 onward christian soldiers marching us to war <laughs>
the master Jesus. Let's begin to wave those beautiful hands to Jesus and tell him how sweet he is. Oni oba oba olora olorun mono mono soju orun mono oba to da pa wa sibi to ye ko wa oba to dese wa sibi to ye ko wa let's begin to bless the name of the lord and say thank you father lord we bless your name we say thank you jesus you ola reti olorun wa lo
The living Jesus. Today's Bible reading for today's glorious youth service shall be taken from the book of Job, chapter 42. Job, chapter 42, verse 7 to 17. And it was so that after the Lord had spoken these words unto Job, the Lord said to Elivazar, the Temanite, my wrath is kindled against thee, and against thy two friends. For ye have not spoken of me the things that are right, as my servant Job hath. Verse 8. Therefore, take unto you now seven bull and seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer up for yourself a burnt offering. And my servant Job shall pray for you, for, for him will I accept, lest I deal with you after your folly. In that ye have not spoken of me the things which is right, like my servant Job. Verse 9. So Elivazar the Terminite, and Bidad the Shonite, and Zophar the Namanite, went and did according to all the Lord commanded them. The Lord also accepted Job. Verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friend 
and all the Lord gave Job. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Verse 11. Then came there unto him as his brethren, and all his sisters, and all that they had been of his acquaintance before, and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the, the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money, and every one an earring of gold. Verse 12. So the Lord blessed the later end of Job more than his beginning, for he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she asses. Verse 13. He had also seven sons and three daughters. Verse 14. And he called the name of the first Jemima, and the name of the second Kezar, and the name of the third Kenirapoch. And in all the land where no woman found so fair as the daughters of Job, and their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. Verse 16. After this lived Job an hundred and forty years and saw his sons and his sons' son, even for generations. Verse 17. So Job died being old and full of days. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. Amen. I did not see our father last week and I caught some people. I said, Judas, one of the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peter, one of the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ knew who Judas was. And he knows he have not put him to be in charge of the treasury. Judas might not allow him to succeed very well. And intentionally made him to be the treasurer. So that Jesus Christ can do the work. Because Jesus Christ was very close. Judas was very close to Jesus Christ. Judas cannot be delivered. It has been written concerning him like that. But Jesus Christ has not put him to be in charge of the treasury. The work of our Lord Jesus Christ might not be complete. Jesus Christ did not look at what was going on with him. He even made him a friend. He did not chase him away. The Bible did not tell us that Jesus Christ ate him. Jesus Christ did not ate Judas. Even Jesus Christ made that time, he got some junctions that Jesus, Judas could probably repent, but it has been written. It has been written. And that's why we ought to be praying that God don't use me as a bad example, as a bad precedent. And I told that person, don't be angry with people anymore in the church. Hey, hey, hey. No now don't be angry with people no matter what they have done judgment is in the hand of God 
o le ba ise logonu o le ba ise yorinu o le mu ki eniyan ma ri ogo re lo laye been angry with people in the church can take the kingdom of god from the person can make the person not to use his or her glory mo ni bibeli te tu so pe o ni ti ara tete ba o ta re re kan kan the bible says quickly settle with your enemy ni pa omo ni pa imo ni pa itoni through wisdom inspiration and understanding from god so that he or she will not hand you over to the accuser settle with your enemy on time so that will not hand you over to the accuser the journey of Christianity is deep. And we need the Holy Spirit that will be giving us the understanding of everything. Look at how the man of God has explained the word of God to us. We don't want to forgive any to share. We don't want to forgive any to share. And you have performed the altar together. We are standing before God together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Problem. I will tell you the only problem I have in this world. Once you are a wicked person, if you are together on this journey of Christianity, and you are going back to meet the devil, I will separate myself from you. I will greet you. But we can't go together anymore. What is yours, I'll give you. That's the problem I have with human. Everyone is mine. An Islamic cleric was still in my house yesterday. And I gave them money to celebrate even after the Islamic cleric left my place and they said they believe in jesus christ even more than muhammad and they said they've come far that they can't come back because they know what jesus christ is holding is the truth that they don't read it surah very deep they don't read it in details just yesterday the Islamic cleric came to me. He's a deep, calm Islamic cleric from Ilori. Every last Friday, Loma one say 24 hour one B. Every last Friday, will come here to come and observe 24 hours program. Every last Friday, is a deep, calm Islamic cleric. He accepted for Jesus Christ. We ate together on my dad, at my daddy table yesterday. And he said, Daddy, I fear God that created all of us in your life. He said, I've gone to Eloni to make my findings concerning you from the Spirit. He said, That truth you are holding, don't leave it. Just continue to walk in that truth. So, and he says, Sir, don't be angry. Please don't eat what is a taboo to your glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When he was going, and I took good care of him, and he said something. He says, sir, he has gone far. That I can't return. The boy said, but, but I accept your God. 
He said, if he return back, he's going to die. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If those that do not know Jesus accept Jesus Christ more than you that you have Jesus. That's what we are still saying. Muslim, one should do learn. They won't respect an Abi. The Muslim they are celebrating today, they respected an Anabi. Answer, you we joko. We are telling you the truth of Christ. You are sitting down. You are still coming to sit that you're not able to shake. You're coming to sit. Telling you the truth of God, you are seated. The fear of God is not in you. When the Islamic cleric was about to go, he said, Father, pray for me. And I said, Should I pray for you in the name of Muhammad or that of Jesus? And he said, In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. If we are truly with him in the love of Jesus Christ, he's going to come back and give his life to Jesus. But many of you Christians, you don't have love anymore. There's no more love. It is the pride that Jesus Christ has that want to collect from him. No more love. We don't have love. The fear of God is not in you. The love of the Father is not in you. Say so as a clean hand and a holy heart. Many of you are deceiving Jesus, deceiving his servant. Lying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this preaching is a solution to many things. It's a great solution. It's a great solution for those that I've spoken to in the secret. Live human. Human being will behave like human being. God will behave as God. But when we know the truth, in Jesus Christ our Savior, the Bible says, hold on firmly to that truth. Don't let anyone take that truth away from you. Even me talking, my behavior, my character, attitude is not good. There's no one that is good in this world. It's because God called me someone, that's why you are probably afraid of God in my life. We are all human. Why don't we check ourselves, weigh ourselves? The preaching is a solution. Whoever you are angry with, you are fighting, settle with that person. The, the, the preacher also touched me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> You are not sent into the world to go and do wickedness. Even they did wickedness, our Lord Jesus Christ, he did not look at it. Uncountable anger, bitterness that they displayed towards him. Because he did not look at that anger or bitterness they displayed towards him. He succeeded up to the cross of Calvary. Because he did not look at that crown made with tongues. Jesus Christ resurrected by the Bible says if you can do this to a wet tree 
How much more? The dry tree. You can hear? The pastor in the church. Can never forgive. He was here. Obey me now, we. He checked my heart. O come, come in, O me, O come in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lies in my way. He begged me again. The solution was for. Not knowing that where the solution is. Amen. Ah me. The battery pastor don't pay on sin. We've seen pastors that kill now that put people in bondage. Every secret will be exposed, will be opened up. So this one that you are hearing is little. There's a pastor that God wants to expose that everybody knows him. The whole world knows him. You'll be afraid. But when this secret is exposed, so that when this secret will be exposed, will not send many believers back into the world. Because they are telling you the truth, you refuse to accept. And it will soon, the day will soon break. Before three minutes, the day will break. Everybody's secret will be exposed very soon. Every secret will be exposed. It can't be hidden. It can't be hidden. Since from this world you know that heaven will be fit. Whatever you've done in this world, when is the last minute? You'll be fully rewarded. The word of God we've heard is a solution. No exemption, no exemption. I'm not exempted. Did not exempt my father, my mother, no one. No one is exempted. Even our father that preach is not exempted. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When, you, when a woman brought three children to the church and two were killed by the witches. And we are calling the name of Jesus Christ witches. Wicked ones are calling that same name. Then who is that good person? From the church going back to the world. From the church going back to the world. The secret that God exposed when a Jew they want to cover the secret. Let's say the truth. Let's say the truth. Members, church members, accept the truth. Let pastors, prophets, evangelists be careful also. All while we are gathering together, we can't take any, none of them to heaven. We can't take any to heaven. Let's say the truth of Christ this time around. Let's do the will of God. Let's do the will of God. Let's do the will of God. God has not called us to inflict ourselves with suffering in the light. God did not call us to tie ourselves in bondage in the light. God did not call us to become enemy of ourselves. Let's repent. You are not complete. You that you are thinking that you are perfect, you are complete. You are not perfect. You are not complete. Let our understanding be open. Don't let our inner uh, bewitch us. 
This world is not our own. Do you think this world is our own? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.